A recent field day has told Queensland dairy farmers that they need to consider carefully the economics of upgrading and changing irrigation infrastructure. While it can deliver significant water and energy savings, it has also has to be factored into the overall business. Uh, that advice really needs to be a cost benefit analysis done on it and to make sure that you're going to get a return on the investment but also um, you know, you've got to think about the long-term sustainability of your, the water supply that you might have and uh, the need to increase production at, at peak demand times for your, for your milk. So it's pretty important to get uh, good advice when you're upgrading the systems. Energy is fa a fairly big focus at the moment and uh, basically the equation for less pressure uh, is going to give you less energy cost per megalitre of water applied. Farmers should speak to independent service providers, which can be accessed through the Dairy and Fodder Water for Profit program. I would think that um, there's probably not unheard of to have a 20% uh, reduction in energy just simply because of irrigation scheduling. Uh, without any hardware changes, the only thing that you might need is some equipment to be able to uh, understand what the soil moisture levels are in the soil. Crop selection is another area. He also recommends doing water budgets at the start of each season and adjusting them when circumstances change. It's uh, one thing to have all the irrigation system there, but uh, you really need to do uh, on-the-run budgets to make sure that you've got the water volume there to see the crop from start to finish if needed. Um, you can always pray for rain, but if that doesn't happen, you need to have a backup plan.